गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट होपिंग दैट यू ऑल आर वेल लेट एस स्टार्ट आर टूडे टूडेज डिस्कशन एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज ओसियो फिगर्स बिफोर बिगनिंग दिस आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेज आई टोल्ड यू दैट द माउथ अंडर गो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डाइजेशन प्रोसेस दे आर टू डाइजेशन प्रोसेस दैट द केमिकल एंड मैकेनिकल प्रोसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज प्रोसेस द फूड इज टर्न इन टू द बोलस एज सोन एज इट टर्न इन टू द बोलस इट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ टंग इट इज पास इन साइड योर माउथ where it goes it goes into a osseo phagus what can you know more about osseo phagus let us discuss the other name of osseo phagus is your windpipe food pipe sorry it is a muscular tube of how much centimeter long 25 centimeter long the solid food passes from the mouth to the stomach through this passage now student after this the food when passes you have to remember two biological very important term that they are epiglottis and peristalsis movement now inside your mouth we have a two type of uh, at the back of your mouth we have two type of pipe that is a food pipe and the wind pipe at the opening of the wind pipe there is a flap like structure which is called as your epiglottis what is the function of it as soon as you take the food and the food turn into the bolus it is swallowed with the help of tongue it has to pass into the oesophagus the food cannot pass into the wind pipe so to prevent this the epiglottis closes its structure and what happens the food rushes down inside the oesophagus so what can you say about oeso epiglottis it is a leaf shape flap of cartilage located behind the tongue and at the top of your larynx the second important thing is your peristalsis movement what is this the baby contraction relaxation of oesophagus muscles so that the food can be passed down to the stomach listen student the baby contraction and relaxation i have drawn the structure how the bolus from the oesophagus reaches to the stomach see a contraction is there and a relaxation this process continue contraction relaxation contraction and relaxation this process continues till the food from the oesophagus reaches inside your stomach you can also think about that why this process is important why does why does this not happens that the food directly runs inside the oesophagus if this process happens what happens student while you are lying on the bed or when you are upside down the food cannot pass from your mouth to the stomach it will instantly move out from your mouth to prevent this while you are lying you are when you are lying on your bed or somewhere else you are eating then also the food reaches into the stomach or when you are upside down then then also you are eating the food also reaches to your stomach why this happens it happens just because of this peristalsis movement so student please go through this topic oesophagus the two very important terms epiglottis and peristalsis movement very clearly after that in the next lecture we are going i'm going to discuss about stomach till then all the best <clears throat> hello student now let us begin the next topic after oesophagus the next topic as soon as the bolus run from the oesophagus with the help of epiglot uh, peristalsis movement the bolus reaches where it reaches to the stomach now how can you define or explain the stomach it is a j shaped thick wall flattened bag present in the upper abdomen the inner lining of stomach secretes gastric juices the gastric juices contain three substances means the first of all you should remember the shape of the stomach the stomach have which type of shape the shape is j shape how it is it is a thick walled flattened bag like structure and what it the inner lining of the stomach secretes three types of gastric juices the three types of gastric juices are scl pepsin and mucus let us discuss what are their function first of all scl scl creates an acidic medium which facilitates the action of enzyme pepsin that is the digestion of protein into the simpler substances what happens 
the pepsin works only the pepsin is a kind of an enzymes which help to break down the protein as you have as earlier i have told you that salivary amylase is an enzyme which helps to break starch into simple form so enzyme or pepsin is also an enzyme which breaks protein into simpler form to break protein into simpler substances the pepsin needs an acidic environment and who provides acidic environment scl the or the second important thing of the scl is the acid kills many bacteria that enters along the along with the food the function of the another function of acid is to kill the bacteria which are present inside the food uh, which comes as when you swallow the food the second important thing the mucus helps to protect the stomach wall from its own secretion of scl the last uh, the third gastric secretion is your mucus what happens the mucus help us to uh, help the lining of the stomach to pr protect the lining of the stomach from its own own secretion that is scl student make a note of it that as soon as the bolus reaches your stomach it is not uh, early that the scl will produce first what happens first of all what will be produces mucus will produce mucus will make a line over his stomach after that the scl will be produced so that the wall of his stomach can be protected from its own scl secretion i think this lecture is uh, clear to you in the next lecture we will discuss the last topic of your digestive system that is large intestine and small intestine till then best of luck